What is up guys? We're gonna be messing with lightning web components today and let's create a simple button to keep track of a variable called count, which we can increase and decrease by one. Uh, you can kind of see here, I already kind of got it set up. Uh, just creating a simple div with a card layout and a header and a footer. Um, so let's go ahead and create our button. So it's just gonna be just like lightning input, except for we're gonna call it lightning button, lightning dash button. Um, the label, uh, what do we want that button to say inside the button thingy? Uh, we want it to say increase count. And actually, let's just do something short. Let's do count plus one. Uh, we also need a variant. How do we want the, uh, the button to look? And I'll show you all that in a minute, but for us, it's going to be brand, which is an all blue button. Then it's going to need an on click as well. And every time it clicks, we want to call the function uh, count up. Count up. Let's do counter up. And then we want to close this lightning button. I um, mean, you can see here I did the brackets. I uh, didn't do the quotations because if you're going to do something that's called in the JavaScript, you have to do the brackets. And we're also going to display the count in our footer. So we're gonna say count is, and we're gonna use a variable in the JavaScript, which we're about to create, and it's gonna be called count. So I say, let's actually go ahead and go to the JavaScript. So we're gonna need a variable called count, which is an integer, but it is loosely typed, so we can just say equals zero. We have to initialize it to something, that way it knows what to increase and decrease by, otherwise it would be just be null. And that button, every time it's being clicked, is the uh, function that's calling is counter up. So we need to go ahead and create that. Uh, it takes no parameters, because we're just increasing the count by one. And we can say this dot count plus plus. Don't forget to do this, saying this in this class, we want to use this variable, otherwise it will not work. We're gonna save it. And we're also gonna save the HTML. <laughs> And you can see, hopefully, cool. Um, let's make it look a little bit prettier, right? Cool. Uh, you are. Or, or, or not. Cool. So you can see that it says count plus one, which is our label. A variant brand makes it all blue, and on click is counter up. And every time we click it, it goes up by one. That's pretty simple. Everybody kind of understands that. But what if we want to make it go down as well? So we're going to create another lighting button, and it's just easier to copy and paste here. Um, instead of count plus one, we want count minus one. In a variant, uh, it can be destructive, it can be, there's a couple more. Um, there's base, there's neutral, and there's brand outline, and there's destructive. We're gonna use destructive, just to see what it is. It's red, and this time we're gonna call countdown. So we're gonna call two functions, and in a minute we're gonna create this thing to make it one function. Uh, but you can see what that does. We got a JavaScript. We can actually just copy this and we can actually paste it and just say countdown. Instead of plus plus, you guessed it, we can use minus minus. Take that, hit the HTML, and you can see that count plus one and count minus one. You can go, always go to negatives. So, we can make this simpler, uh, more simple, uh, by just combining this into one function. And we can do that with uh, a tag called data set on the lightning button and all the other lightning components have this. So let's just call this counter, this function. Counter, they're both gonna call counter, um, except let's add a tag on the negative one. It's gonna be called data dash name. And we're going to name this down. And basically, this function is going to check that data dash name. And if it equals down, we're going to decrease count. And if it does not equal down, we're going to increase count. Because if it doesn't equal down, obviously, it equals up. So I'll show you this uh, in the JavaScript, actually. 
it's pretty simple. We can get rid of this one and just call this counter. Except that this time it is going to pass in an event. And that event is the button, certain button that the user is clicking. Um, so in order to check that data set dash name, which you can do this for, like I said, in all Lightning components, we have to reach in the target.details. No, I'm sorry, the target the target data set. Um, so we can say if event.target data set at name, because that's what we called it with that dash, equals equals down, I can type what we want to do, what we want to say this dot count, this minus and else, they probably hit the up button, right? That's only other button on the page. We can say this dot count plus plus, and we get rid of this one right here. So we're going to save this. And we're going to go to HTML and save it as well. So notice how I said the data data set how we, in the JavaScript, we reached in the data set dot name. So if we go back to HTML, we can see data dash name equals down. So this is the variable we're grabbing when we're saying that event dot target dot data set. Um, it is kind of confusing because we're not saying data set dash name. We're saying data dash name. Uh, so I get that. Trust me, I'm on the same page. But that's just how they did it, and you can do this for anything, uh, for lightning inputs, lightning buttons, uh, child components, and, and so on. And you don't have to call it name, you can call it in, you can call it uh, count name, you can call it anything you want. Just if you do call it something different, make sure you uh, specify which, what you called it on the dataset.name in the JavaScript. So this will work, hopefully, and we'll go minus one. And that is how you do buttons in Lightning Web Components, kind of a simple version. And later on, we'll dive deeper in depth. Thank you. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments.